Hello, you guys. We're going to uh, work on adding text inside a shape. And so this tutorial says make text more interesting by creating it inside a shape drawn with a shape tool. When you do the text edges, is follow the contours of the actual shape. So it makes it so that it fits within the shape. So in order to find this tutorial, we're going to go over to the home screen. Browse tutorials. And it's going to be under all categories, beginner, and it will be under add text, add text inside a shape. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit like this so we can see it better. It says right here. Select the ellipse tool. If you don't see it, right click on this tool, point your cursor at the blue bubble to hide it, and then choose the ellipse tool from the flyout menu. So let's see if we can find this. Ellipse. There's the ellipse tool. And then we're going to go to it says choose shape from the tool mode menu. When you draw the circle, in the next step, it will appear on its own shape layer. Click next to continue. So right here, you can see that you can click uh, different ones, path, pixels, but we want shape. So make sure that shape is picked. So now we're going to click next to continue. Now it says draw outward from the center after you begin hold shift and all or shift and option to draw a perfect circle from the inside out. Stop dragging when it's slightly smaller than the circle in the image. Click next. So drag outward from the center. So we're gonna click right here. We're gonna hold down shift and option for the Mac. Hmm, it's shift and option, but that's not the right one. So let's just see what happens if I hold down shift. Shift does it. So let's just use the move tool and I can make it bigger or smaller as I need to. So I just repositioned it. Make sure that when you have the shape though, where is it, the move tool? Uh, that show transform controls are there. Okay, so now let's click next. So we made that bigger. We shifted and dragged the corner uh, handles of the circle boundary to adjust the circle size so there's equal space between your circle and the one in the image. So we want to make this be fit in the right area right there of this actual other shape. So let's go next. Now we're going to Click the square next to the word fill and choose no color. It looks like a square with a red slash. Then click the square next to the stroke and choose no color. Click next to continue. Because we don't want this white. We want to have it transparent. So when we click in here, there is this little uh, square with the line in it. And that's basically, it's no color. As you can see, that stands for no color. Ah, So it's still there. It's just transparent now. Okay. Then we're going to click the next this this one that says the square next to stroke and choose no color. So we want to make sure that this has no color either, the stroke. Otherwise, you can come up with, you know, a color here. But we want no color. Okay, so that way there's not an outline. There's not an outline right here. So let's close next. Now we're going to select the horizontal type tool. If the horizontal type tool is already selected, click another tool and then click back on this tool. So we want horizontal. There's either vertical or horizontal on the text. We want the one that is horizontal, which that is selected. Now it says click to open the font family menu and choose a typeface for the next, for the a typeface for the text such as Arial, choose next to continue. So really whatever you want. Uh, might have some fun with this one. And I don't know, this one looked cool, didn't condense. Okay, so we got that. 
Now let's click it and change this to 60. So we can actually go down here 60 like this. We want the size of each text. And we can change the size bigger or smaller as is needed. So click next to continue. Now we're going to change this rectangle to make sure that the text color is all Fs. So that's completely white. Click OK to close the dialog box. So let's go in here. I think it's already, yeah. So we come all the way over here, or if we type in a bunch of Fs with our six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, or you can just move this all the way up here in the corner. And black, I believe, is zeros. Yeah, black is zeros, white is Fs. So let's close, let's go OK. And then let's go next. Now position the cursor in the inside the shape and when it becomes an eye beam in the dotted circle, click to create a text box and type some text. Then click the check mark in the box options bar above the image, click next. So we're gonna click right in here where it becomes an eye. We see the eye, so we can just click right in the middle. We got some cool text. Up here we're gonna click OK. And really, you can type maybe a poem about the circle. You know, I don't know. So notice how it fits the size excellent, though. It fits inside the circle very well. Now, select the background layer in the Layers panel to view the text without the shapes layers outline. The outline won't print, nor will it be visible in the export image. So we're going to basically see what that looks like without the image. So then you won't see anything except just that layer there. So different layers. By clicking on that little eye icon, then you can turn that layer on and off. It says, let me make sure I'm doing this. Select the background layer in the panel. Oh. Select it. So I selected it. That's it. So there you go. That's how you can put text within a shape so it fits the contours of a shape. And if I put this, um, I could change this to whatever I want to write in there, you know? Circle. Go like this. You can just type anything in there. Okay. Circle. Is round and not square. You keep on going on there, writing round and round. Spell mathematicians. I don't know if that's how you spell mathematicians. Hey, look at that. So you see how the text goes right up to the edge, okay? And of course, depending on the next word. So you can make that bigger or smaller. So if you're going to turn this in, uh, well, first, a couple things. If you want to save it as a JPEG file, oh, wait, you have to always click check mark when you're done doing any text. You can click and, and save as and save it to the Creative Cloud. We can save this as add text inside a shape. Matt George, I always like to put my name in there and save it. And then I can also save a JPEG of it, which is important if you're going to upload it. So save a copy, JPEG. I'm going to put this downloads, change this to JPEG. Very important we change it. Downloads, save it. A quality is fine. And there you go.